What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Colin Stuckert here, Wild Foods CEO and founder in the ancestralmind.com. Something that flashed into my brain earlier today, and so I was motivated to make a quick video about this. This is something that I've been trying to implement more in my life to get more results. Obviously, as an entrepreneur, uh, I set my own schedule, I don't have a boss, I have to make sure the work gets done or my business can basically fail. And it is great in some ways, and there's some major pitfalls and really hard things you have to do on the other side of the spectrum. But today's topic isn't about business. Today's topic is about what people are trying to do this way instead of this way. Now, what do I mean by that? Let's get to it. So there's a disease in our culture, a disease of more. And we all try to do a million things. We want to constantly add more things to our life. We want more stuff. We want more experiences. I mean, that's probably okay, but you know, there's even a point where that could become an issue. FOMO and grass is greener, things like that. We want more customers. We want more money. We want more stuff, bigger house, friends, you know, and what we fail to realize is that more kind of goes into that, that empty hole we're trying to fill. And what it does is it actually increases the size of the hole that we have to fill, right? So we get more that comes in, and as a result, it creates more complexity in our life, more discontent, more problems, more issues, more drama. And then we try to then solve all of that problem that comes from the more by adding more, which just exacerbates it, makes it even wider. Also, if you look at business and what's being successful today, a lot of these micro brands are sprouting up because they're focused on doing one, generally focused on doing one thing at a time. Like the one product that kind of is different or better than what's out there. Right. And as while a lot of these conglomerates try to try to create all these these brands and go wide and do all these things, these small micro brands that are focused on just doing their one thing are actually getting bought up by the big companies because they are focusing on less. And as a result, they are better able to serve their customers. They're, they're, there's going to be more quality, less issues. They make more money. It's just better in every way. And now this analogy to, to, to business is also for life. As you try to do more things, add more things, say yes to more things, you get stretched and pulled in all these different directions. And as a result, your output, your happiness even, and your results go down. Instead of focusing on a few things and doing them very well, or focusing on many things and doing them half-assed, most of us that do this, we convince ourselves that we're not doing it half-assed. But that is an illusion and that is the trap that so many fall into. Now, the people today with, with the internet and the ubiquity of everything and the fact that anybody can do anything and get attention or start a business or whatever, because we have this so much choice, it becomes actually harder and you have more competition to actually do things and get attention from the market or, or to get someone to pay you. The more you spread yourself thin, the harder it is to actually make a statement, be known, have res get results, etc. Now, if you're an artist, this is even more true. Uh, if you're a small business, extremely true. You try to be on social media, you try to post on Instagram, you try to be on Facebook, you try to be on YouTube, you try to do all these things when really you should just find one thing that resonates best with your ideal customer and you should be serving that customer one thing that solves a primary problem for that person. And too many companies today try to be everything to everybody, right? They try to market to everybody and as a result, they market to nobody. And that is exactly true in your life. The book, The One Thing by Gary Keller, it's a good book that everybody should read. I've had issues trying to implement it in my life. I feel like it's definitely lacking. Um, I think if most people could just get in the habit of like saying, what's one big thing I'm gonna do every day and did that, like their, their results would skyrocket. So it's definitely got value that way. But I've had trouble compartmentalizing the different things that I have to do. Like I have my personal brand, I have a business, I have other things I'm working on with friends. I try to help friends and family. I'm constantly thinking about things, whether it's YouTube, the new podcast at theancestralmind.com. That just started and I'm really excited about that. So go check that out, link below. I'm doing a lot of different things. And while some of them I can kind of do well because I have to be patient with them and I have to rely on time and other people to do things or whatever. So there are some things in some instances where I can do multiple things and I have multiple products going that I just kind of have to wait on. And for some people, it's really hard actually. For me, it's hard at times because I always want to do, 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 and I want to get stuff done, done, done. But even with that being said, there are always things, the more that's going on, the harder it is to focus on your best things. And so I'm actually focused with my company, Wild Foods, and then now with TheAncestralMind.com is to do as little as possible, but go as deep as possible, right? To go, to go as focused as possible. Instead of going this way, I wanna go this way, right? Because this way up here, these are where the results are at the top, okay? That's where people are gonna pay you to solve their problems. That's where the competition is gonna be the hardest to compete with you. But you go this way, and everybody is your competition. Uh, you know, like a game like Fortnite, 
They're saying Fortnite is Netflix's biggest competition because people are playing Fortnite instead of watching Netflix, right? <laughs> so kind of interesting how it's a completely different industry, completely different product. The, the more you go this way, the more competition you have, the harder it is to stick out, stand out, and actually make a difference. Even if you're not trying to win or make money or whatever, I mean, anything that you're trying to do, most people want to have some kind of result, some kind of feedback, you know, and like, and you're really competing against all these things for attention. I, um, there's a lot of different points to go here. I know it's a little bit rambly, but I think the call to action for today is to try to get in the habit of removing things, get in the habit of less is more, get in the habit of asking yourself, is this thing something that I can really commit to? You know, should I really start posting the Instagram every day or do stories or do this new TikTok app or whatever? Like, is that actually gonna bring me value or my business value or my life value, right? Is it going to bring me value to be on social media the way I am and to scroll aimlessly and do all these things? A good book on that I just wrote was Digital Minimalism by Cal Newport. He basically makes a point that we should focus on how we use social media to make sure that it is bringing us the, resort, the, the rewards we want, which for most people is they want to stay up to date with their friends and family. For most people though, they don't even use social for that. They get sucked into all the other crap that social pulls you into and you basically get distracted. It causes discontent. You run into issues like FOMO and the comparison effect and it basically destroys the human psyche. So like aimlessly scrolling and liking and commenting and doing all these things for most people is not good. It's just not. So it's just another example it's another siloed thing that you can kind of look into, social media and how you use it. Is it bringing you happiness? Is it bringing you utility? Can you do less of it? Can you batch it? Can you just check you know, Facebook or Instagram you know, once every few days for you know, a certain amount of time? Uh, can you restrict your newsfeed? There's apps that will even block your newsfeed. Can you remove the Facebook app on your phone just so you're a little less likely to get sucked into it? I don't have the Facebook app on my phone, never have, and I, I kind of only use Facebook as needed for business, and I log in sometimes, right? Now, I'm obviously giving up certain things by doing that, but I've, it never brought me that much utility personally, and so I'm kind of okay with that. And these are the cost-benefit analyses that you need to do in your life for pretty much everything. New project you're gonna take on, new marketing effort. I mean, literally, there's, there's thousands of these things. Like, you know, start paying attention to new things you start, what they're going to commit from you or require you to commit to, what is it actually gonna do for your life? Is it gonna have utility, is it not? And just be conscious of how you're spending your time and where you're focusing your energy. And as a general rule, the wider you go, the less deep you can go. So the less you can get to that mountain where all those results are. And we all really need to focus on less is more, do less things while focusing on the things that bring us the most satisfaction, the most enjoyment, the most rewards, the most money, the most customers or whatever. And for business owners out there, you have those customers that nag at you all the time, those clients that nag at you all the time, fire them, get rid of them. There's gonna be always the, the 80 or 20% of your customers that give you the 8% of the revenue that are the best ideal customer. I fire customers all the time, it's necessary. So my name is Colin Stuckert, I approve this message. Make sure you hop on our uh, subscribe now and then get on the newsletter at ancestralmind.com, get our free mini course there, the Living Wild mini course, and also check out the podcast, the ancestralmind.com. I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna be spending a lot of time into that. And again, I appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. I hope you take something from today's video and take action in your life to get results, to make your life better, to live more in accordance with your genes, and then pass on that legacy to the next generation. Thanks for watching.